our top news this week. Takina has been really busy lately as the lens maker just announced a new full frame CinePrime. The new Takina CineVista 40mm T1.5 is the latest addition to the company's large format CinePrime's range, giving cinematographers a unique focal length in between 35mm and 50mm. The new 40mm is the 8th CinemaVista Prime, rated for 8K plus resolution and covering a huge 46.7mm image circle. This ensures compatibility with the latest large format sensors in the Alexa Mini LF, the Sony Venice and Red Monstro. In addition to being able to render stunningly sharp and beautiful images, the new Tokina 40mm is also available in various lens mounts including Adi, LPL, PL, Sony E and Canon EF. Adi has released a new firmware update for their Stellar app. Firmware update version 2.3 allows gaffers, cinematographers and lighting technicians to select multiple fixtures in one scene and control them all with one finger without prior grouping. The Adi Stellar app turns your iOS tablet or iPhone into an intelligent lighting control desk and also includes support for the latest Adi Orbiter LED in addition to all sky panel models as well as third-party LED fixtures. Atomos announced they will support ProRes RAW recording to the Ninja V from the latest Panasonic full-frame mirrorless camera, the Lumix S5. The firmware update is due to land towards the end of November and it will enable the Ninja V to record 5.9K ProRes RAW up to 30 frames per second in full frame in addition to 4K 60p via HDMI from the S5. A 3.5K anamorphic crop mode is also planned which will make the S5 compatible with plenty of anamorphic lenses. And that's it for this week, we'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.